Hello my beautiful sacred family of light. Wishing everyone a magnificent March 1st with this beautiful March energy. I wanted to extend so much love to each of you and coming on here on my YouTube channel as well as my Facebook. I just want to check that I am live here, which I am correct. Perfect. So I wanted to come on here and extend much love. It's I'm recording this on the wrong channel, so let me just leave this here. So I'll stay on Facebook. Yep. Okay, perfect. So I wanted to come on here as it's been a month that I've been off social media. And um, I have embraced this wonderful space of total inwardness. And I wanted to just share a little bit about what this one month, 30 days being off Facebook with just once or twice I came on, posted something. And um, also stopping everything that I had been doing, literally. That means my daily prayers, my daily invocations, every practice that I did completely stop everything and only choose to meditate in silence about two to three hours a day, morning time, midday time, evening time, and just sitting in silence, not calling anyone in, not calling my angels, guardians, masters, the galactics, even the Mahakohans, the ancestors, the spirit animals, the guardians, no one. Just sitting in silence. And it's been 30 days of this space and I wanted to welcome March from this place that's been a remarkable transformation. And within this space, what has really taken place in my life that I feel I'm in the, just the tipping, <laughs> like the little iceberg of it, there's so much more that I will continue. So within this space, I completely also stopped all the activities in February, which was our Tuesday night meditation, silent meditation. Also, the Friday Tea Time Ascension Talk, the interviews um, with individuals as well as with the couples, and also Friday Tea Time. All of that was stopped, and every event had stopped. Every healing, everything, I just completely stopped out of it. One of the most important things was to finally take this time that I've been wanting to take for myself, to just be completely inward and sit with me and sit with my bodies and bring everything into my physical template, which meant to meet every single emotion. So I know so many of us have done deep, deep work and it's amazing. I'm also one of those individuals, just as you've done such level of deep work. And I would share that this 30 days has been nothing like the work I've ever done in the past by just sitting in silence, being this space of silence for me, and observe everything that has been moving through me. So I got to face and meet enormous amount of daily triggers that wanted to be seen as the real treasures 
as literally the children that I had abandoned because I either wanted to fight or fly <laughs> or flee from it. But I got to finally sit with every single one. And the silent space that I was in got to be the space where I would just breathe into it and, and do nothing, absolutely no action whatsoever, other than after an hour where I felt that was completely in my heart, sit with the energies that wanted to show up. And it's been a true transformation because I got to also uh, witness the death of my old self and my stories, one after another, after another, after another. And however Honey Bee would show up in her service, really got to um, be presented very differently by completely falling apart. So I, I don't quite have yet what wants to come forward other than this space that is very calm inside of me, that finally I feel my nervous system has, after years and years and years, my nervous system is actually calm. I don't have these um, triggering responses that want to flee a situation or fight situation or defend or protect. If anything, the one thing that I removed completely was protection. So I realized that in my 40, almost nine years of incarnation, and when I became aware, everything has been set up so that I can just protect myself. And this has come from a deep, childhood wound where everything has been set up just to protect, protect, and my whole world has been around protection. So the first thing I did 30 days ago was I will no longer protect myself. I don't need to. I'm going to be and I'm going to face all of it with my beingness without protecting. And it wasn't easy. I actually had mm, quite a bit of a um, anxiety attack and panic attack from it until everything finally when I allowed that everything wanted to be faced so it's been overwhelming amount of inner awareness layers and layers and layers that wanted to be met by me and, and really like my children that um, as if I had abandoned them but I had not abandoned them I just didn't have the strength to face them and be with them the way that um, I am called and I've been called in this 30 days because it hurts too much. And I'm saying this and I'm sharing this with you because I know so many of you have also experienced this. And we've gone through so much of uh, transformations and transcendence and we also have been in this remarkable place where we get to you know work with this light codes light streams and such remarkable um, activations and <laughs> that's my son so much activations and magnificent higher dimensional work yet the thing that is most important is we talk about grounding, but we can't ground it until we are able to bring it into the emotions and be able to be with the emotions, not just face them, but literally be with them so it can start to detangle and then brought into our physical template. So the physical template becomes a real home for all of these energies, emotions, where they do not have to um, escape, they don't have to go anywhere, they're all welcomed in their true divine perfection, whether it was anger, whether it was hate, whether it was a disappointment, whether it was joy, whether it was helplessness, all of them, all have been welcomed. So it's been a remarkable 30 days and, um, and I will continue because now that I've 
um, 30 days later where I am, I can't imagine in any way, shape, or form to go back to the way I was. Though I'm very grateful to the service that was brought forth from that place. However, the reality is my entire system also had turned upside down, inside out. So my health and well-being um, had been affected. So I've been working with a naturopath doctor to balancing all my systems and it's been remarkable and also with my core very strict acupuncture um, balancing my balancing my organs particularly pancreas and liver and uh, kidney and, and lungs and uh, thyroid so it's been very very beautiful to to be very very present with my body and I feel like for the first time I'm actually truly in my body where most of us galactics are not in our body we prefer being outside our body and we're very distracted by the outer field particularly let's say the light stream the codes what's happening intel and all of these and the masters and the all of that which is so beautiful yet there's this escape and maybe it's not you, but I've also seen this in my closest um, star family. There's nothing wrong with that. However, at some point, this has to be really brought in and to be really embodied. It's very easy for us to speak of the word embodiment, yet we can't fully bring it in because the energies, emotion want to first be met. They're kind of like the gatekeepers. However, because they're very uncomfortable and yes we speak of going into the shadow and hugging the shadow and being with the shadow yet we fully don't embrace it fully that means completely being like being the greater self being with that presence that wants to be seen so again, it's the tip of the iceberg for me. There's so much more to go, and I'm very excited for this. And um, I don't know what will be coming from here other than this moment. There is um, a lot of videos that I'll be doing on my YouTube that I know because in this, I've gotten a chance to um, prepare a lot of foods, <laughs> the foods that would be a proper combination and um, a lot of creativity out of that. And also wisdom, wisdom through how to meet with certain energies and move through them. It's been amazing in a very simple way, meeting, for example, the energy of disappointment and allow it to be experienced so that it can move forward. So. I feel called to soon be helping those on a live call to help them move through it. And it is a very beautiful state. And from this state, it's been amazing to just be witness in my relations with my children, with my family members, with Michael, and, and just be able to um, be a witness. So. I also wanted to share with you that I have enormous amount of messenger um, messages that I have just not gotten back to because I really needed this time to be for me and there's going to be more time with that. So please do recognize you are very valued, you are very deeply appreciated and I will be responding in the order of enormous amount of messages like over 500 messages that i have and um, because many of you have wondered where i am i did make a post that i have to go inward this space this this cataclysmic opening took place where i broke literally had to break apart completely so that I can see our parts before me. And I couldn't be more grateful. I couldn't be more thankful. I couldn't be more possibly present with the gifts that have been brought forth. It wasn't easy at all. 
it was a death of my old story, my old self, and many years of um, associated of being a planetary worker, being a multidimensional galactic warrior and um, speaker and healer, I, all of that, everything, everything <laughs> had to like literally die before me. And it is the story of who um, was, was presenting, which was remarkable, I'm very grateful. And now there's this space that's very free, that's very open, that has much to offer soon, yet I still need to be here for quite a bit longer. There's incredible healing of every trauma that I had encountered in this incarnation that um, I've chosen to meet with its energies finally because they had been knocking on my door for a while. And I knew that Michael and I met four years ago, four and plus years ago, that this was coming and we just didn't have the time to be in that place, but finally that time has come and I wouldn't want to be anywhere else other than here because when it is totally embodied here, there's no more energies that are um, responding from a place of trauma. That's when we are really in this place of the centered balance. And I feel I'm just beginning to um, be in alignment in that so there's more to go from that there's certain names changes the one thing that I want to share the name Ascension Alchemist doesn't resonate with me or Michael anymore that word Ascension that has been something that's brought into my awareness in in the meditations in these long long silent meditations that um, it doesn't resonate anymore because it's this present now and uh, we'll be shifting that name and there's a beautiful name given instead of that so few changes and I'm looking forward to it and looking forward for being with you I'll be sharing much more on my YouTube channel on honeybee channel and Instagram not much on Facebook I feel called to be off Facebook for a while longer and I love you all Facebook family so much so 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 much and, but the energy is calling me to be on my YouTube channel, and that's what I want to honor. So please join me there. It's just Honey Bee. And uh, yeah, so much beautiful things is ahead from this moment. And I trust you have been well. I know February has been a powerful month of transformation for many of you. Just as it's been for me, for Michael, our union, we'll do a little video on that as well. And I truly wouldn't want to be anywhere else rather than right here, right now. And continue to sit in the silence and just be present to the unknown. I've never been more comfortable, more excited to be in this place of unknown. So what the 30 days of being off social media do for me? I get to walk every day. I get to be in nature every day. I get to meditate two to three hours of silence every day. I get to meet every trigger, layers and layers that I never even knew were there. I get to meet every trauma that I have faced almost every, there's a lot more to go. I get to prepare a lot of um, meals. I get to prepare a lot of new recipes. I get to be present and really breathe consciously. I get to also really have a communication with my organs like my kidney and my pancreas and liver and gallbladder and bladder and lungs and thyroid 
um, such a beautiful relationship. I got to feel and see the beauty of this moment. I got to breathe so consciously in just the divine perfection. I got to feel the divine perfection. I could always see it, but now I know I can't see completely until I can feel within this place. I got to start some new projects in a very gentle way. I got to sleep. I got to rest. I got to just be with me. After nine years of very intense planetary contribution and service for humanity, I finally got to be with me and put everything on hold and recognize it's okay and give myself permission. And I got to be also very present with noise and, and watch how little by little my nervous system is calming down and calming down and calming down and calming down. It doesn't have this knee-jerk response. And I get to unplug completely from every everything. No YouTube, no watching anyone or anything. It's been quite liberating. And last night, we get to have a few of our friends over and just be with each other and share a beautiful veggie meal. And it was so wonderful. And I'm looking forward to everything that March brings and all the changes, all the new unknowns and all the magnificent discoveries. And most importantly, I get to be here for my sons for their emotions and really hold that space for them as I hold it for me. And I get to hold the biggest space for my little girl, the little honey, that endured so much in this lifetime. She experienced so much hurt and suffering. I get to finally be the mother to the little me that I never had in this 30 days. So I get to be unplugged a little bit more from social media as there is more to go in here. And um, again, I just can't see uh, going back to the way it was and embracing this new now and um, everything that is part of this vibration. And I thank you all for your presence, your essence, and just know if I have not been in communication with you, the love is continuous, and I am just focused in this now, in this present, before I can fully be in service, as I've had some powerful visions given, and to, to honor these visions as well, I have to grow myself even wider, even bigger, and it is from my heart. So that's the space I'm spending the time in. So love you so much. Please do join me on my YouTube channel, Honey Bee, H-O-N-I-B. And soon I'll start giving away with Honey Bee again. And um, I'll be going through some of these processes on my YouTube channel to help you because it really, really, it's simple and it's made a ginormous, ginormous difference in my life and in Michael's life. Love you all very much. Happy March, happy spring to all of you in the Northern Hemisphere and speak to you soon.